Hi there, long time no see. Uh, I was in a vacation. Uh -huh. I was in the deep mountain uh, for a few days. Uh, this is paper, gripping paper. <coughs> mm. This is uh, toothpaste <coughs> detergent. Iron oxide and peroxide. Uh, I made this one into solid state. Just one layer. Mm Insulation is good, and then its initial voltage is <coughs> just nine volt. Uh -huh, not, not so good. Okay, I will charge this battery about uh, 20 minutes. Okay, see you then. Okay, 20 minutes has passed. Uh -huh. Point seven volt and the voltage drops. Ah, and maybe peroxide has a problem. Peroxide H2O2. But amperage looks good. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 yeah, from this experiment, I found something very important. Yeah, graphene paper is very useful. This is paper. Graphene paper is very useful, and iron oxide to space to, uh, the combination. I the combination of iron oxide to space to, and detergent is good. Ah, someone said my experiment is fake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To you, it might be, but uh, no, this is real. Mm, yeah, there uh, there are a lot of kinds of to space to, and if you want to succeed. Uh, to light the LED, you must choose a proper toothpaste. Uh, by the way, uh, in the next in the next experiment, I will use 
iron oxide detergent, toothpaste, and water. Uh, <clears throat> from my uh, from my experience, I could find that water is much better than peroxide H two O two. Yeah. H2O is much better than H2O2. Hmm. Good. Now, the voltage of this battery. Two point two five volt. Not bad. It it drops very very slowly. Oh, not bad. <laughs> Lithium is much better than sodium, but ah, uh, my goal is. Uh, to invent a battery uh, by using sodium compounds, for example, sodium carbonate or sodium, yeah, sodium, sodium carbonate, because it's very cheap. Of course, uh, the size of an atom, the yeah, the size of uh, yeah atoms. I know how do I say that. Uh, sodium is much, the size of sodium is much bigger than lithium, uh, the size of lithium. Uh, so it might not wise to challenge uh, to develop uh, a solid state battery by using sodium. But uh, it is a beautiful journey. I don't care about it. Uh, someday, somebody will make a sodium solid state battery and and then we can buy much cheaper electric vehicle mm, that will be good Uh, this one is a graphene paper, uh, which this is used in this battery. Each ohm is uh, Eleven <coughs> to eleven ten from ten to eleven too high ten ten twelve from end to end fifteen or uh, fourteen fourteen Uh, still, I don't know how to decrease, how to lower its resistance. I will watch my video, uh, so I uh, I will record this to memorize uh, what I want to do next uh, to decrease the 
resistance uh -huh, on the aluminum I will place the paper like this because the ohm of aluminum is much lower the ohm of aluminum is about 0 0.2 and then what's the problem so high 12 eh? why the <coughs> resistance doesn't decrease And 11, 12, 12, 22, what's the problem? Maybe if I change the rod, too high. Oh. I wonder why the ohm increases. Maybe, maybe between aluminum and graphene paper, there is a space. This. Uh huh. Uh, because uh, I understand now. This is paper, okay? Yeah, this is paper. So. Uh, between graphene coating there is a paper and the paper plays a strong resistance so I think this kind of method doesn't work but uh, I'll try that <sighs> so so yeah, this is a really endless journey. Yeah, someone, somebody says uh, why, why battery and uh, why advanced, why uh, why battery technology is tardy, tardy, t a r d y, uh, because there is no new, there there is uh, no new mat material. Oh. Mm, satisfactory. Okay. Uh, I'm happy to um, return to my experiment. By the way, COVID-19 is a very pandemic these days. Okay, uh, let's be careful. Okay, have a nice day. It's a good day.